So now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is just kind of go over some basic logarithms or some basic, <coughs> I'm sorry, properties of logarithms that you guys can have. Now, I know I can go ahead and use variables. Um, <coughs> so but what I'd like you guys to do in looking at this is we're trying to apply some basic operations. I want you guys to remember what logarithms mean. Logarithm says a raised to what power equals 1, right? a raised to what power equals 1. So I'm just going to rewrite this in exponential form. You could say a, and I'll even put a little question mark to represent my variable, is going to equal 1. So when I take a base and I raise it to what value is going to equal 1? There's only one number in there that we have. 1 or 0? Zero. 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 Well, let's try 1. 5 raised to the first power equals 5. 5 raised to 0 is going to be 1. Any number raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1. So therefore, a raised to the 0 equals 1. So any time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I should probably write that over here. So the answer to this is 1. So a to the 0 equals 1. All right? Now we write this. a raised to what power is going to equal a? So a raised to what power equals a? 1, right? So you could say any time you're evaluating a logarithm and you're evaluating the logarithm with the exact same base, you know the value can equal 1. Yes? So wouldn't log a equal 1? Wouldn't that be 0, not 1? Oh, I. No, the top one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That's supposed to be 0. Okay. Sorry. I just wrote it wrong. Thank you. Yes, you are correct. Um, the next one, log brace a of x. So now I got to say a raised to what power equals a to the x. So what does that power have to be, that question mark? What does that have to be? x, right? So a lot of times what we say, if you guys have log base a of a raised to the x, that just equals x. So just a quick little example. If I said log um, base 5 of 5 squared, well, you guys can just re write those out and just say that's going to equal 2. Yes? Is that because it cancels out? It doesn't really cancel out, but what you can say is, because look at if I rewrite this in exponential form, a raised to what power equals a to the x? A has to, that question has to be x, right? So therefore, you can just say, you just take, when I have a logarithm raised to, with the base, raised to the same base of an exponent, I'm just taking, the, it just equals the exponent. No? Do you guys understand this? Yes. OK, so watch. If I say log base 5 of 5 squared, what does that equal? So therefore, that is 5 raised to the x power equals 5 squared. So what does you have to raise 5 to to get to, to be 5 squared? 2. 2. OK, so it's not, can't, I, know I, can't, I know I put a line through them, but they're not really canceling each other out. They're just, you apply them just using those rules. But yes, if you just want to think about it, just take that exponent. As long as you have the same base of a logarithm, evaluating for the same base of an exponential, then yes, you're, you can just you take the exponent. OK? Um, last one, log brace a of x. Yes? No problem? Oh. Now the last one, if I have log base a of x equals log base a of y, if you have the exact same base of something, all right, the exact same base, then <coughs> Um, what you can have is you can just say that x is going to equal y. Because if you have the same bases on both sides, the logarithms, and you have a logarithm equal to a logarithm, then what you're evaluating for are going to be equal to each other. Do you guys want me to show you algebraically with that? You guys feel good? OK. Good? How's your properties? OK. All right, so one last thing I'll do. I'm not going to do graphing by table. I'm just going to show you guys how to graph.